welcome you with praise. We welcome you with praise. Almighty God of love, be welcomed in this place. We welcome you with praise. We welcome you with praise. Almighty God of love, be welcomed in this place. We welcome you with praise. We welcome you with praise. Let our praise be your welcome. Let our songs be a sign. We are here for you. We are here for you. Let your breath. Our own. 
the highest of heights to the depths of the sea. Creations revealed in your majesty. From the colors of fall to the fragrance of spring. Every creature you song that it sings all its name is indescribable uncontainable you place the stars in the sky and you know them by name you are amazing God all powerful untamable all struck we fall to our us to its life that conceals it to bring us the corners of night Uncompanum indescribable uncontainable you place the stars in the sky and you know them by name you are a of the sea creations reveal in your majesty from the colors of fall to the fragrance of spring every creature unique in the song that it sings Who has told every lightning bolt where it should go? I've seen heavenly storm houses laid up with snow. Who imagined the sun and gives us to its light? Yet seen heaven giving us the call. Of night, uncompanion, indescribable, uncontainable. You place the stars in the sky. And Amazing God. 
thousand generations falling down in worship to sing the song of ages to the land all who've gone before us and all who will believe sing the song Your name is the highest, your name is the greatest, your name stands above them all. Our thrones and dominions, our powers and positions, your name stands above them all, and the angels cry. Be a 
just want to share something quickly about the song before this one where it said you know the depths of my heart and you love me the same and that's for all of us but I feel there might be somebody here particularly that's thinking yeah God's so holy and I'm so not but actually God already knew that he already knew that about you it's not news to him you know he looks at my heart you look at my heart and you might think oh yeah you might not but you might think, oh, Helen's a nice person. But I know, I know more of my heart than you do. And God knows the depths of my heart. And he loves me the same. And he loves you the same. So don't be sitting there thinking, oh, he's such a holy God and I'm such a rubbish person. Yeah, we are rubbish. And that's why we need God. But don't let it stop you coming to him. Come to him anyway and just say, this is how I am. Please accept me like this. He's the only one that can change us. We're not going to change it by pretending we're not horrible. We're only going to change it by coming to him and allowing him to do what he needs to do in us. Let's just pray. Thank you, Helen, for sharing that because it's so true. Father, I just pray that, that that word will just reach deep into our hearts this morning. I want to thank you, Lord. Thank you that you see the depths of each one of us. You see the depths of our hearts, but you love us. Wow. Thank you, Lord, for your love, for your overwhelming, faithful love to each one of us. We thank you for who you are. Amen. Amen. Well. This is the moment of truth, isn't it? I'm looking around to see where Pete was because he was kind of having a little... Oh, 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 there's Pete. Hello, Pete. Oh, we can see them up there. Okay. Pete, we don't want to see your face though now. We want to see the other two. Yay! Woo! It's so great to see you all. Wow. Yay. <laughs> can we turn them up? I don't know how. Or is it just that I can't? Are we able to turn them up a bit so we can hear? Okay. Can you hear us? Yay. Hey. <laughs> can you hear us? Can you hear me? Oh, I miss you all so much. <laughs> right, do you know what we're going to do? Can you see all the church behind me? Can you see them all yes, here? So yeah. we're going to do a big wave, everyone. Big wave, big cheer. Oh, I miss Woo! you all. Wish, wish we were there. Oh, look. <laughs> and there's someone Henry. else here. Can you see Henry? Go on then. Do you want to say hello to Uncle Dave? Hello, Uncle Davey. Hey, oh. Henry. <laughs> Is that nice to see him yeah. up there? Yeah. yeah. Getting better Very... every time I see you. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to say anything else? Uh, I like you to be really good. <laughs> He's got to be a good boy, isn't I'm he? Not, He's got to be a good boy. I promise that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not known for that, Henry. <laughs> it is so good to see you. Now, obviously, 
Henry is your uncle, and Henry is your uncle. Dave, you're Henry's uncle. So for those that don't know, you've got family in the church here. So we've got Pete is your brother. We've got Graham and Sue up there, your mum and dad. And we've got James and Isaac and Lulu, all some family here, which is really lovely. Um, it is so good to see you both. How are you? You well? Yeah. We're yes, good, we're yeah. Good. It's been very hot here, yeah. 38 uh, degrees today. <laughs> how much was that? 38? 38, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, what's the temperature over here? We've had Maybe some like mini 12. tornadoes, so yeah, it's been, been fun weather here. <laughs> I was going to ask about the weather, because that's quite a British thing to do, isn't it? To ask about the weather. Yeah. <laughs> and I actually quite love that you've dived in there before me, Dave, to talk about I the weather. I was going to say, uh, typical Brit, got to talk about the weather here, yeah. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So that's quite a British thing. So I w I've got a little question here. Is there anything... This is more to Rachel, really, probably. Is there, are there any, like, British habits that Dave has that's maybe rubbed off on you? Like, is there anything typically British about <laughs> Dave that's been adopted into the, into the FMN there? Um, so, British habits. I say fancy a lot now. She does, yeah. <laughs> and I watch a lot of soccer or football. <laughs> and I drink a lot more hot tea than I used to. <laughs> Ooh, she drinks tea. more tea than me. <laughs> I am pleased to hear that you're drinking the tea. Now, I thought maybe, <laughs> do you want to share a little story about tea? Because when we went on our trip like three years ago, tell us about oh, the tea my... bag story. Yeah, we went through two kilograms of tea bags in three days. <laughs> you did and just half of that was Josh. <laughs> half of that was Josh, was it? I don't think they're here today. Okay, uh, yeah, I think you bought tea bags thinking it would last the whole time, didn't you? And yeah. we had yeah, to go and get more. Yeah. <laughs> it is so good to see you both. I am very amazed that we've got this working. Well done, Gareth and Pete. I did yeah, trust you completely. Work, yeah. <laughs> it is so good and it's lovely that we're just able to talk with you and spend some time with you this morning. And um, we're so excited to, yeah, just hear what's going on for you guys. And we're going to be able to pray together. And we're going to share communion together with you as well at the end. Hopefully that it all keeps, the technology keeps going. And um, it should be really, really good. Um, so you've done some videos for us, haven't you? Yes, some videos. So we're going to um, share some videos. And I think, should we go to that now? Should we do some our videos? I don't know what, I don't know who I'm looking at to get ready with the videos. Is it Ethan? It's my son. So you've recorded some videos for us, which uh, we're going to be showing. But just hold fire, don't press play just yet. I might be too late if you press play. Um, so. There's um, a little bit of a high, there's an update in the middle. Part of the video um, isn't going to be showing on the live stream. Um, so those that are joining on the live stream, you won't be able to see that part. But we will be sending it out via Connect Groups and you'll be able to see that part. Is that all I need to say? Shall we have a go and let's watch, see if this works? I'm Dave. I am Rachel. And this is the Roma village in Tinka, Romania that we work in. Um, I'm actually originally from Folkestone. Uh, if you're wondering what happened to my accent, you can blame this one. <laughs> What's the daisy? <laughs> She's corrupted my accent, but uh, we work here in this village. Um, I uh, joined Harbour Church in 2004. I can't believe that was nearly uh, 20 years ago now. and. Um, in 2008, I came out to Romania for the first time. I thought it would be a couple of months trip and God had other plans and I've been here ever since and you guys have supported me the whole way. And so this is the community of Roma that we work in and we'll share more about them in a minute. But we just want to thank you for everything and uh, just share a little bit of what we've been up to the last few years. So the Roma village that we work in
Bible study, they have some food, and then they come and have this time here on our campus, and the kids are out there with them. So they just wanted to say hi. Hi. <laughs> So we were asked to share how people can get involved with FMN and with our work here. And there's some really awesome ways that you can get involved. Ministries.org, and that's where we have our prayer calendar where we uh, put prayer needs on there and, and other ways you can be involved with teams that are coming, with different things, events that we have going on. And then there are three different sponsorships that we have for teens, for an uh, employment, and for children. So you can read more about that on there. Um, and I really, I think we both want to um, just really say thank you. Um, I always find this hard to not cry when I talk about this with you guys because it was 15 years ago that I came out here for the first time at a crossroads in my life. I didn't know what God was going to do and where I was going to end up. I thought I was on a three-month trip and I came home from Romania to Harbour Church and talked to Gareth and Sarah and started to talk to you guys as a church about what God was putting on my heart to come and join the incredible vision that Rachel was working on. And from that moment until now, you guys have supported me prayerfully, financially. I literally could not have been here without all of you. And you sent a team out here. Every time I come home, I just feel so welcome back in the church. I'm just so, so thankful for all of you as a church who supports me and as uh, the different people who sponsor me from the church. Just so, so thankful for you all. I miss you and I love you. I'm just so glad that we got to have this time to do this. I wanted to say a big thank you as well. Um, just the encouragement that Harbor um, brings for me personally. And um, you may not even realize how far your reach is, but I enjoy so much um, uh, being a part online and I'm thankful that you all have that opportunity and um, the teaching, you know, really encourages me and inspires me. Um, the worship and uh, those of you in the congregation that share different words from God, I just want you to know it just goes beyond those walls that you're in. Um, you're, teach you're teaching and reaching people online as well, and it's really been uh, a huge encouragement for me. Um, and just, I feel like, yeah, I know you all, and I know some of you, <laughs> but it just feels like a, a community um, for myself as well, and it's definitely a blessing. So um, thank you for um, loving us from afar mm -hmm. and up close and for sending others and um, praying over us and encouraging and being a part however you can. We sure appreciate you all. Mm -hmm. Dave and Rachel. Now we can. Yay! Yeah. I think we all can now. Can everyone hear me? Brilliant. Do you know, watching that and hearing you guys share was so incredible and so powerful. Can we just show our appreciation to Dave and Rachel? You know, what you guys are doing is just amazing absolutely amazing and so incredible just hearing the testimony of God moving and he is moving through you too and so I just want to encourage you on behalf of the church and encourage you guys 
in what you are doing because it is incredible. And as I was listening just then, I just had the, the, just these words of just that you are divinely positioned, that God has positioned you where you are to bring hope and the light of Jesus to these people. So just be encouraged this morning on behalf of us here at Harbour. Um, so I just got a couple of other questions. So Dave, you've, you've been out there, how long did you say? So you went 2008. So how many years now have you been there? So, I'm sorry, I didn't get that. How many years have you been over there? Uh, yes, yeah, so um, I came out 15 years ago, um, and it, it was really quite a blessing this week um, when I was looking at photos uh, to send to you guys, and I'm not sure whether they'll even be needed now, but for me, it was such a blessing to go through them and to look at 15 years ago and to see, um, it was just so overwhelming to look at these photos. I rem remember so clearly coming out here in 20. 08, crossroads in my life. I had just joined the church, you know, a couple of years before. And I came out here thinking it'd be for three months. I came home with this vision and this exciting calling that God was putting on my heart to follow Rach and what God had put on her heart. And coming back to you all and just sharing what God had shown me. And you guys got behind me. You prayed for me. For us, you've sent, literally sent teams out here. You financially have kept me here for 15 years, plus the trips beforehand, when God was putting this on my heart. And so it was just such a blessing to look back at all the years of you guys as my friends, my family, my church, um, just to look at everything that you've done to make it possible for me to be here and to follow the calling that God gave me to support Rach and the calling that God's given her and, and FMN and the Roma and they all know all about you and everything that you do to support and encourage them. They were so excited to record that video the other day. So yeah, it was just such a blessing to look back at the last 15 years and 15 years ago standing before you talking about it and um, I had hair back then in those photos and I was a little thinner and we all looked a little younger. <laughs> And it was just so much fun to look at those photos of Gareth and Grant and different people uh, coming over with vans and convoys of donations and just everything that you have, you know, this was an update to talk about the last few years, but looking at the last 15 years and everything that, that I've had the privilege to be a small part of, that we've had a privilege to be a small part of, and... God's of it, and that, that gets to happen through the support that you guys are given. It's just amazing. So we love you guys, and I just miss you all so much and hope to be back soon. That is so good. Thank you, Dave. Do you know, I love that of just, there's a bit of a celebration this morning of 15 years of what God has yeah. done and, and over the last 15 years. Rachel, how many years have you been out there? Um, I've been out for 20 years. Yeah, so no, not much longer. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Um, Dave, you were talking about teams, and obviously we came out three years ago, which was absolutely amazing, and we are in conversation about another team trip, aren't we? Yes. <laughs> we're going to make week. that. We're going to make that happen. <laughs> we're trying to just figure out dates and times, so. I just want to say, church, if this morning something's stirring within you and you're going, I want to, I want to go, I want to be a part, I want to see what they're doing, I want to get involved, um, just watch this space. So we're literally just working out a time scale of when we're going to go, but we will be taking another team. We will. See, look, the confidence there. I love it. Have you got any teams planned for the summer? Oh. I'm sorry, we didn't quite get that That's one. That's okay. Have you got any teams planned to be coming out now during this summer? There's a few teams. Yeah, we have um, a couple of teams. Uh, COVID, um, I think you guys remember, you were 
the last team we had before COVID came and literally um, a couple of weeks later, Pete and my family came to visit and they shut the borders for COVID. And uh, since then, um, teams haven't been able to travel physically. It just wasn't possible. And after that, we have testing requirements. So it's really, this year has just started to open up a little bit. And we've had a few visitors this year and uh, we'll have a team from Bournemouth, which I think actually They've uh, been involved with Harbour before, uh, Julian and everybody from uh, Bournemouth um, Discover Church there, the uh, uh, great church. So um, yeah, we've got a couple of people visiting over this year. And then I think in the next few years, it'll start to pick that up again. But yeah, COVID changed a lot of things. <laughs> That's good to hear that you've got some teams coming out. Um, I loved that in your video, you just shared some of the ways that we can be supporting and we can get involved um, through prayer, through sponsorship. And I would like to just highlight sponsorship for you, Dave. Um, you talked about um, the individuals within the church that have been financially supporting you and enabling you to be out there. And I just want to highlight that to us as a church because you may have joined us in the last 15 years and not realize that this is a way that you can be a part of FMN. So this morning, I just want to encourage us as a church, if you would like to support Dave financially and sponsor him and just commit to helping him in what he's doing out there, then that is possible. I'm going to almost go see Josh Cottingham because um, he's the finance man. Um, so if you're interested in wanting to support Dave financially, go and chat to Josh um, after this morning, and he'll sort it, I'm sure. I'm saying that, looking at him, hopefully. Um, but it's great that we can support you in all of these different ways. Um, is there anything else that you guys would like to just share or say before I pray for you? Yeah, I think really just um, to say again, thank you so much for everything. And um, yeah, looking back at the last 15 years, and there's been... Um, a lot of battles and um, we work in a very uh, hard village in a culture of people who are without hope they're discriminated and prejudiced against and they go through so much abuse in so many different ways we see it day in day day out literally these people are beaten and abused and trafficked and to look back though at the way that God has been so faithful through that time and Mariana, you saw her there rocking her baby and it just gives me goosebumps to look at her and to see this child who was abandoned and everything that she had been through. And now she's got her husband and he was here working the other day and he's just so happy. He asked for a big coffee every time and he's just so excited to be part of things. and. Uh, they were here together and, you know, their arms around each other and just so loving to each other and loving to the baby, as you saw. And just um, God has been so, so good. And everything that has changed and all the praises that we have over the last 15 years and longer when Rach first came is all through God and everything that he enables. He is the one who has changed and done these things. And we're just a small part of that. And you guys have been such a part of making that possible. So just so mm -hmm. many thanks to all of you. And yeah, just love and miss you all. <laughs> oh, thanks, Dave. Can we just give them a big round of applause again? <laughs> it is so good to see, see you <laughs> and to think <laughs> that we're doing this um, live. It's just amazing. And we love you both so much. And um, I know I speak on behalf of all of us um, about how, yeah, just how much we love you guys. And um, we can't wait to come back out again and bring a team. And just to be able to do that <laughs> is going to be incredible. And, um, yeah, do you know, I'd love us to pray. And um, I would like to invite us as a church to stand. And um, because you know what? I know we're on a screen, and if you were here, we would literally be gathered around you to pray. But I was thinking, you know, I would want us to stand as a church as a way of going, we are standing with you, 
and we stand today around you and we cover you with our love, but we cover you with our prayers. And I just almost just feel there's something significant in us standing and we're standing with you today and we want to pray over you as a church together. Um, so church, will you join me? Let's stand and um, we want to just pray over you guys and pray for all that you are doing. Yeah. Father God, I want to begin with thanks. I want to thank you for the last 15 years that Dave has been out there. And I want to thank you for the last 20 years that Rachel has been out there. Father, I want to give thanks this morning for the vision, for the passion, and for the heart that you have given these two. I want to thank you that you have gone before them that you have worked in them and through them over the last 20 years. Father God, we give you thanks for, for the, the change that we have heard about this morning. We give you thanks for Mariana, that her story is a testimony of so many others too. Father, we thank you that you are changing lives. Thank you that you are at work right here at FMN. Father God, we want to thank you for your faithfulness to Dave and to Rachel, of being with them and equipping them for all that has been thus far. We give you thanks for where they are right now. And God, I just want to pray over them for what's to come. In this moment, I just want to pray your covering over them. Holy Spirit, I want to pray for a fresh outpouring over both of them. I want to pray for your spirit to fill them completely. And that by your Holy Spirit, you will equip them for everything that is to come. I think of Paul's prayers that we've been looking at as a church. Oh, from your glorious unlimited resources. God, I want to pray that over them, that they will know your glorious unlimited resources over both of them. Father, I pray for them in their faith and their walk with you. I pray that their roots will grow down deep into you, that you will take them deeper into your love. Father, I pray that you will continue to be the anchor to their hearts, the anchor to their souls, the anchor to all that they are. Father, I want to thank you that you have positioned Dave and Rachel for where they are right now. You have positioned them as a channel of your hope and your light and your love and your joy. And I just pray that that will continue to just break through into this community. We pray for a continuation of lives to be transformed and changed. Yes. Father, will you anoint them right now in this moment? Anoint them and pour out over them. God, I just pray for every step that they take when they walk through the village. Oh, that they will walk as presence carriers, carrying your light, your hope, and your love. We thank you for these amazing families that they have connected with, that they love so dearly. We think of those women we saw in the beads just now in the video. And I just pray over these families. Oh, Father, I pray that each one of them, them and their children and their grandparents, whoever's part of that family, we just pray that they will know you, Jesus. That you will be right at the heart of their lives. Father, we give you thanks that it's all because of you. And I thank you for Dave and Rachel and their acknowledgement of you in everything that happens. Father, we give you the glory, we give you the honour and the praise, and we say, God, will you have your way over FMN, over Dave and Rachel, and the Rome of community. Amen. Amen. I feel like I could keep praying forever. I'm sorry, that was quite a long prayer, but just, 
it just felt so special and so brilliant to be able to just pray over you guys. And, and church, let's continue to pray for them. Let's continue to uphold them. Go and check out the website where you can find out more. You can get involved with sponsorship and you can pray over different things. So go and check that out. Later on at the end of the service, we're going to put those photos up on the screen that Dave's been talking about. So Dave sent through loads of different photos. So we'll put those up um, as we share in tea and coffee. But do you know, we thought it'd be really good just to end our time together um, in sharing communion and sharing communion with you guys, which is really special. And I know that you join in a lot online at home, and so you've probably been doing this a lot over the last few years, but today to, to share together with you is going to be really special. And um, I wonder, Dave, my Dave, this is now, this is where it gets confusing, there's too many Daves in Harbour Church. I often call my Dave, my Dave, as a way to distinguish. Dave, if you and the bank had come up and start to get ready, you know, one of the things in the video that Dave, you talked about, or Rachel, I can't remember which one of you did, but one of you talked about the transformation that comes only through Jesus. And that has stuck with me. Isn't that what communion is about? It's about taking us right back. <laughs> right back. That it's about Jesus. Jesus died. Jesus rose again to enable us to be transformed, to be forgiven, to live freely, to be children of God. A transformation that only comes through Jesus. And so as we come to share in communion now, let's just fix our eyes on Jesus. We've heard about the transformation that he's done and is doing in so many lives over with FMN. Right now, this morning, invite Jesus into your life because he wants to transform your life. Wherever you're at, whatever you're going through, Jesus is the one who can transform. It's because of him that we live. It's because of him that we can be called children of God. And in a moment, we're going to share communion. Dave's going to pray for us. And um, we're going to also just sing this song, I Speak Jesus. I felt like that song was really good to just even off the back of everything we've heard this morning. That's what's going on over there in, in that village, in that Roma village. Dave and Rachel are speaking Jesus over their lives. As we sing it, let's speak Jesus over our lives. Let's speak Jesus over their lives and the people that we've heard about this morning. I wonder, before we share, Dave, would you be able to, to lead us in prayer? Yeah. I think you're going to pray. Mm -hmm. Good chance to do that. To pray? Yes, please. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lord, we come before you now. We thank you so much for this morning. We thank you that we get to be together, separated by countries, but connected by you. We thank you so much for your sacrifice. We're overwhelmed when we look that you chose us and told us that we're worthy through your grace, through your blood. Thank you so much for forgiving us. Thank you so much for giving everything for us. So this morning as we share together and as we take this bread and everything that we'll share with you, 
We thank you so much and you gave everything. We thank you that you can change lives. We thank you that you've changed our lives. And we pray for this week coming, wherever we go and when we're at work and when we're at home and with our friends, that we would honor you, that we would glorify you, that we would praise you through the things that we say and the things that we do. We thank you for everything that you've given us. I pray you bless us as a church to always speak your name and that when people see us, that they would see you in us. I thank you so much for this church. I thank you so much for this family. And I thank you so much that we are joined by your sacrifice and we give honor and praise to you today. In your name, amen. Amen. Let's share in communion together. I wonder if I can ask some people to come and we're going to set up a station here and here and then maybe just one at the back and just feel free to come and to share together. Just feel free to come up and um, share together. I just want to speak the name of Jesus over every heart. I know there is peace within your presence. I speak Jesus. I just want to speak the name of Jesus. Till every dark addiction starts to break. Declaring there is hope and there is freedom. I speak Jesus. Your name is power. Your name is healing. Your name is life. Break every stronghold. Shadows burn like a fire. I just want to speak the name of Jesus over fear and all anxiety to every soul held captive by depression. I speak Jesus, your name is power, your name is healing, your name is life, break every stronghold, shine through the shadows, burn Every 
darkness over every enemy. Jesus, for my family, I speak the holy name. Jesus, shout Jesus from the mountains, Jesus in the streets, Jesus in the darkness over every Speak the holy name, Jesus. Shout Jesus from the mountains, Jesus in the streets, Jesus in the darkness over every enemy. Jesus for my family, I speak the holy name. Every stronghold shine through the shadows, but like a fire. I wonder whether I'm not sure whether it's going to work syllable wise, but Dave and Rachel are out in Tinker, Romania. I'm trying to see if we can put Tinker in to shout Jesus from the mountains. Shout Jesus and Tinker. We'll just see what happens. Even if it doesn't work syllable wise. You know, us standing with them, us declaring Jesus over Tinker, that works. Shout Jesus from the mountains, Jesus in Tinker, Jesus in the darkness over every enemy. Jesus for Tinker, I speak the holy name, Jesus. Shout Jesus from the mountains, Jesus in Tinka, Jesus in the darkness over every enemy. Jesus for Tinka, we speak the holy name, Jesus, Jesus, your name is power. Healing, your name is life. Yes, break every stronghold, shine through the shadows, but like a fire. Yeah, Heavenly Father, we pray, Jesus. For Tinker, we pray that your power will bring great healing. And Lord, we pray that you will break every stronghold, that you will shine through all the shadows that are in Tinker. Amen. We shout your name, Jesus, over Tinker this morning. Amen. Amen. Well, I don't really want to end this, <laughs> but we do need to end it. Do you know, it has been an absolute 
joy. It's been incredible and so moving to be able to talk with you both and just thank you for taking the time to be with us this morning. We love you so much and um, we, now we've done this once, we can do it again, can't we? Yeah? Yes. <laughs> Definitely. Um, do you know, can we just show our appreciation though, first of all to Gareth? I want to say a thank you to Gareth for all the techie stuff of making this happen. He's worked very hard this week to make sure we can do this. And I think we also just need to do another big just clap and cheer for Dave and for Rachel. Come on, guys. <laughs> and a big wave. And play lots of kisses. <laughs> Love you all. <laughs> We love you very much, and um, you can feel free to stay on and just go where you want to go if you want. We can um, <laughs> min about. Thank you for this morning. Yeah, you. Did you want to say goodbye? Come on, Henry needs to come and say goodbye. Absolutely. Bye. I want you to come Bye, to my Henry. house and say, I wanted to say, please can you come to my house and have a sleepover? <laughs> I love that, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully soon. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Do you know, shall we just end our time? Let's say the grace together um, to end our time together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. 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 Wow. <laughs> Don't know how to finish this. It's like, you know that whole like, no, you hang up, no, you hang up, no, you hang up. We'll just do that for ages. Let's do a big wave. And um, <laughs> any final words, Dave and Rachel? Miss you all. <laughs> <laughs> we miss you all too. Lots of love to you. And thank you so much for this morning. They've gone. Oh, wasn't that amazing? Wasn't that just incredible? Um, I could have stayed there all day. Do you know, we've got teas and coffees. Let's enjoy just fellowship together. Next week, we enter into August, and we're switching it up a little bit. So teas and coffees, and I understand some kind of edible item, a donut maybe, um, will be available before the service. So from quarter past 10, there will be teas and coffees. So get here a bit early next week and enjoy your refreshments beforehand. But enjoy some time together and go and talk to Josh about supporting Dave, okay, and then check out the website and I will see you next week.